Hello and welcome to Xlem Garage and today I get to tick something off my bucket list something I've wanted for a long time back in the 90s me and a few of my friends used to sit around reading magazines about motorbikes and one of our favorite books was Backstreet Heroes full of custom bikes but it wasn't really what we wanted we weren't custom bike people and a magazine came out that changed everything for us. It was called Street Fighters. And it was all about naked bikes, or as they call them now, retro. No plastics, a uh, few shiny bits on them, but not too much. A few different styles of bikes, mainly GSXR, Suzuki's. And I styled my bike in a similar way because I always liked the single sided swing arm, which I put on mine. So, one of the things that was synonymous with the Street Fighter boys was Simpson helmets. Now, Simpson didn't make a motorcycle helmet. Uh, they made helmets for dragsters. So having a dragster helmet was the thing, but they were very, very expensive. So I can never afford it. It was down my price range. A few years ago, Simpson decided that they were gonna make motorcycle helmets and they brought out a couple of different models. They were a lot cheaper than the drag racing helmets and purpose built for motorcycles, but still quite expensive. So I couldn't afford one. But recently, because of the Black Friday sale, a motorcycle shop nearby to where I live in Wales was selling off their stock. And what they had was one brand new Simpson motorcycle helmet. Just in passing, we were there looking for a helmet for my wife and saw this on the shelf. The only one they had, which just happened to be a double extra large, which because I'm a fat guy with a big fat head, I need a bigger size. And there it was, tried it on, fitted lovely, like a glove. So not only did they have the helmet, they had a pinlock visor and a pinlock defrost interior visor to go with it. It was awesome, I thought. So this is the Simpson motorcycle helmet called the Venom which came out before the movie came out so not to be confused with Marvel's Venom it comes with a nice helmet bag as you can see with all the designs for the different helmets they've got Simpson on the other side. I was so pleased when I found it actually fitted. Now we went for the satin black because I think it looks lovely. It's nice, not too shiny gloss. It's a lovely, lovely finish. Years ago, I did have a craft helmet, which is a copy of a Simpson, very similar shape. A lot cheaper, but a very nice helmet. Um, I wore it for over 10 years until the foam lining inside disintegrated. And now it is still here. I have the helmet. 
it's a hanging basket out the front, sorry, out the front of the house. Um, I'll insert a photo of that so you can see, and you'll see that it, uh, the shell is still complete, but all the lining has gone out of it. Lovely features with this helmet are the big lip on the side of the visor to make it easy to lift. You can just push it with your thumb or your finger. When you have gloves on, trying to find the little lip on the edge of the visor is a real pain in the butt. So this one you can see has got a nice big lip, pretty easy. Even with my big hands, you can see how big it is. It's also got a lock on the side. Now this flicks up, locks the visor, so it won't open, even at high speed. So that's a good feature, especially if you like to have your visor down when you go fast. Nice vents on the front, vents on the top and vents at the back for nice airflow. I've never owned a Simpson, I can never afford it, but I've looked at some reviews and some people like it, some don't. Um, it's all according to taste and fitment. A lot of people have the problem that some helmets don't fit them. So you've got to try a lot on, like motorbikes. You can't go for the first one, just try different bikes and see which one suits you, innit? The other feature of these, which I really like. Other helmets have got them as well, but they come with the flip down sunglasses. Now, if like me, you go out on a sunny day, you have the tinted visor, you ride around, all my helmets have got tinted visors on, and it's great in the summer, it stops the sun blinding you. And then come the autumn, and the winter starts coming in, the nights get in, darker, quicker, sooner, and uh, the sun is really low in the sky, especially around Wales. All you Welsh bikers will know this, and around uh, the UK, and you wear your dark visor out, just to stop you getting your blinded by the sun. But because you've only got a few hours out because the sun goes down pretty early on the winter, Sometimes you get caught out with a dark visor and that can be painful. You either have it up and you have wind in your eyes, so you've got to ride slowly, or you have it down and you can't see, which is very dangerous, obviously. So I think it was a really good idea by Simpson to incorporate the sunglasses in the helmet so you can have best of both worlds. I know a dark visor looks cool and I've still got one on my other helmet, but this is more practical in the winter. Especially, like I said, you know, it gets dark really quick nowadays. You know, you're riding around, all of a sudden, bang, it's pitch black, you can't see a bloody thing. So, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. The other good thing in this one is a chin guard. It's a little flap, stops the wind blowing up in front of your face, especially at speed. It'll come up your neck and straight up. So that's a, a good th feature. They've got the silly D clips, which I don't like. I prefer the clips, but it's the standard strap now and standard fitting, which most helmets in the UK use. I think it's just because it's cheaper, two rings rather than a clip. And obviously they don't wear out. The strap will wear out first before the Ds wear out. So makes it easier and cheaper from. I see, like I said, this is the double XL helmet, so it is a very big shell, um, and it is very comfortable. I like the shape on it. I like the little markings in the side, little V there. I think it looks really, really aggressive, like a proper Street Fighter helmet. And it fits lovely. Not too tight, not too loose. I'm not chewing my cheeks up with my teeth, because it's pushing them in. I can still talk quite reasonably. And it's so comfortable. It's really snug, but not tight. And 
yeah, can move around. I can see me riding at speed and not being pushed in. Some of the other helmets I've had, as you go faster, some of you will know this, the helmet pushes against your nose and up against your face. Very uncomfortable. But this one doesn't move. <sighs> Just can't wait for some nice dry weather to get out and use it because unfortunately I have become a fair weather rider in my older age. I am almost 60 and uh, yeah, going out in the cold and wet hurts. Not so much when you do it, when you come home. You get off the bike and put it away, get in the house, and as your feeling comes back to your extremities, it's very painful. So now I tend to ride when it's nice. I don't mind it too cold. A little bit cold, but not too cold. But the weather, the rain, I can't do the cold rain. Ugh. Kills all my old bones. But there's the Simpson. It has nice stickers on the front. On the side of the visor. Either side. It is very light. Comfortable. Well padded. All this padding can come out. For cleaning or exchanging if it gets a bit soft. I think there are different thicknesses you can get for it. Um, so it's got a nice little strap with a little button that clips up on itself. And Simpson are known for high performance helmets, for drag racing at very high speeds. Um, so this helmet is probably always going to be very safe. So I, I really like it. So that's my bucket list, one of my bucket list things uh, achieved. I actually own my first Simpson helmet. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you again soon. Bye. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Do 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 do.